Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module, we'll be looking at the Enlighten Stack Shuffle. Now, this is a pretty simple visual, but it's actually a really fun one. I, I like it. It has a nice animation within it that we're going to take a look at. Uh, but first, let's get a little uh, overview of what it is. So, the Enlighten Stack Shuffle is a simple method for displaying a top end set of values. So, say for example, I want to show the top five, the top 10, the bottom five, the bottom 10, the bottom seven, whatever it is. I can tell it a number of values that I want to show, and then it will rank it based on a metric that I pass into it. As you actually interact and explore your report, the data or the values will animate and shuffle throughout the stack. So it's a stack of values that can shuffle based on the way that you interact with the rest of your report. It's a pretty nifty little visual. It's simple, but it's really nice. And it can uh, actually save you from writing some DAX, perhaps, if you were doing some ranking functions, for example, in your data sets. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to work with this one. It's by Enlightened Designs. Let's walk you through how you can use the Enlighten Stack Shuffle. All right, first to begin, we're going to start by bringing in our data set that we're going to use for this example, which is going to be an Excel spreadsheet. And it's going to be called Sales by Product. I've already got it kind of filtered down here to find it more easily. But Sales by Product is the example data set we're going to use. And then the spreadsheet within inside of that Excel workbook is going to be one here called Product Sales. So I'll go ahead and select Product Sales. We can see it's a pretty big list of all the products. And you might be able to kind of already see where I'm going with this. What I'd like to see is the top five or the top 10 number of products. So I'll go ahead and select the product sales spreadsheet and hit load to bring this now into my workbook. All right, next, what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in a basic column chart just so you can see what the data looks like. So I'm going to bring in a column chart here. And in this column chart, we're going to look at something like the sales amount by category. So I'll go ahead and select the sales amount. Select the category, and we can kind of see that uh, most of our sales are happening in the bikes department, but accessories also has an amount here, as well as clothing that are lower amounts. Now, let's bring in the Enlighten Stack Shuffle and take a look at how this works. I'll go ahead and hit the ellipses here. You can also hit the From Store option up at the top here. But when you do that, you're going to select this uh, Import From Store, and it'll bring open a search box where you can actually search all the custom visuals that are on the store. And so I'm going to type uh, Stack Shuffle. See if we can get that to come back. Let's just try stack. How about that? There we go. And so you should see the Enlighten Stack Shuffle show up here on the top of the list, as of now at least. And I'll go ahead and select that and hit Add. And it's going to add that visual here now to our visualizations pane. All right, so I'm going to click in the background because I don't want to change the column chart anymore. I'm going to go ahead and click in the background and then select the Enlighten Stack Shuffle. Bring that up here. And inside the Enlighten Stack Shuffle, you have two fields that you can populate. One is the category. And then one is how it's going to be ranked. So what are you ranking it by? So for example, I want to see a list of all the products that are ranked by their total sales. And so I would bring in the product and the total sales, and you would see them listed here. So you're seeing the top selling products right now listed here. And I'm intentionally leaving this box a little bit larger because we're going to actually change the size of this, make it easier to see, and show how you can interact with it when it comes to other visuals like uh, perhaps a slicer. So let's bring in a slicer here as well. I'm going to bring in a slicer, and in this slicer, we're going to tell it that we want to be able to filter based on the year. And you could use a nice little slider here if you wanted to, but I'm going to actually make it just a list. And that way we can select the year that we want to filter by. I'm also going to increase the text size of that slicer. So let's go ahead and go underneath item here for the slicer and bump up the text size of that just a little bit. And then what I can show you here is how you can interact with the Enlightened Stack Shuffle. So a couple ways. We can use the slicer. We can use some cross highlighting here or cross filtering with the column chart. So for example, I could select bikes, and you'll see that it's not really going to affect it because we were already looking at bikes. But if I select accessories, you can see it swaps out all the items here in the stack shuffle with the top five accessories sold. I can then also go to clothing here if I wanted to. Let's see if I can select a little thin slice there. And I can see the top selling clothing items. All right, let's focus in on bikes for a moment. Now, as I focus in on bikes, you can see it has the top selling bikes here. And then I can actually select the specific years, and let's see how it shuffles these values when I do that. So in 2010, here's my top selling bikes. 2011, you can see it shuffles some of them out, brings some of them in. 2012, again, shuffles a bunch of them out. 13 and 14. So you can kind of see that shuffle effect as you work with the results here. And as you start to explore your reports, you'll see that shuffle effect also occur and that little animation that occurs within it. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what you can do as far as formatting on the Enlighten Stack Shuffle. I'll go ahead and select this, go over to the Format Paintbrush here, and you'll see there's one section devoted to this called Stack Shuffle. I'll go ahead and expand that. And here you can change the color, so you can change the font color, which right now is white. 
I can change the background color. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll make that kind of an orangish color, maybe. You can uh, increase the font size some if you wanted to, so I can bump it up. Maybe make it a little easier to see, like so. You could also change the number of values that are being shown. So maybe I wanted this to be a top 10 instead of a, st a top 5. I could come back over to the format settings here, and you'll see the max items here. I can change from 5 to 10, perhaps. And now I'm looking at the top 10 values. And again, as I select through the different items here, you'll see it kind of shuffle through and take out ones, move ones up, move ones down. You can kind of see that interaction here whenever you're using it. All right, the other things you can do under the format section here is you can also show the rank. So if you want to see a little number appearing next to it, you can flip on show rank and it'll actually show you one through 10, in this case, how many values that you have, which is kind of a nice ability to have here. Uh, you'll also see you can change the sort order. So if I want to change it from, a, from descending, meaning the highest number of sales are listed here, to ascending, to meaning the lowest number of sales, so these would be my worst selling products, I could do that as well. So these are my worst selling products that I have. All right, let's flip that back. Let's flip that back to descending. So these are my top products. Uh, a few other things here you can do. You can change this to full width. Full width basically just takes up the entirety of the visual. So the wider I make this guy here, the wider that goes. You can also change the alignment. So right now the text is aligned to left. I could change the text to align to center or even right if I wanted to. I'm going to flip that back to left align and also I'm going to take off the full width. I didn't really care for the way that looked. All right, so that's some of the interesting things that you can do within the Enlightened Stack Shuffle. It's a pretty simple visual to work with and a pretty, pretty interesting way to be able to visualize this. Now, one last thing I'll do before we end is I do want to label this so people know what this number 1 through 10 is. And so I'll go down to the title section here. The title is turned on. It's very small here. You can barely see it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, make that title change, and I'll call this my Top 10 Selling Products. Okay meaning these products are bringing the most revenue in. Not necessarily that I'm selling the most quantity of each. That might be a different question, but these are bringing the most dollar amount in. Okay, or so that could rename this to highest revenue earning products or something like that. I could also increase the size of that text so it's a little easier to see, maybe center that. And uh, let's make it black so it's really easy to see, not that kind of faded gray. And then we have a nice little visual here. So we can, and again, we can interact with this with our report items that we have. We can do cross highlighting. We can also use our filtering items that we have here with inside the slicer to be able to interact with this visual. Hope you guys enjoyed the Enlightened Stack Shuffle. It's a really interesting one, simple but nice. And I look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.